In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign a macro using self-cert. Open the Start menu and find the Outlook shortcut. Right-click on the Outlook shortcut and choose Open File Location. Right-click again and choose Open File Location. This opens Windows Explorer where Office is installed. Type S on the keyboard to jump to the S's. Double-click on Self-Cert EXE and type a name for your certificate. Click OK. Go back to the Visual Basic Editor. Click Tools, Digital Signature. Click on Choose and choose your new signature. Click OK. Click OK again. Click Save. Close the Visual Basic Editor. Go into File Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Settings, and under Macro Settings, choose Notifications for Digitally Signed Macros, All Other Macros Disabled. Click OK. Close Outlook. You'll be asked again to save the Visual Basic project. Click Yes. Reopen Outlook. The Outlook security notice will pop up. If you choose Trust All Documents from this publisher, the certificate will be added to the trusted publisher's location, and you won't receive this dialog every time you open Outlook. The macro will work. In File Options, we go into the Trust Center. The new certificate is listed under Trusted Publishers. If you edit the macro and save it, all of the macros will stop working until the signature is removed and added back. To do that, we need to go back into di Digital Signature, remove it, click Choose again, choose the signature, and click OK. You'll need to restart Outlook. Now the macro will be working again.